Um, Coach Red Pill, I predicted, would be formally charged as being a Putin propagandist by the Ukrainian government. And, uh, surprise, surprise, this actually happened. Um, very weird to see Coach Red Pill's father doing media tours. Elon Musk talked about the fact that an American journalist was uh, imprisoned in Ukraine for reporting on the war. I mean, I don't like Coach at all, um, but I don't know, it's kind of crazy. <laughs> it's kind of crazy nonetheless. And there is, let me find it, let's see, the Ukrainian Defense Minister uh, Spokesperson Trans, Sarah Ashton Cirillo. I did show this on stream once. Because uh, someone had pointed out that this person who was like the head tranny in charge of um, who he here you go. You can see he stopped tweeting so much. Uh, something happened. Actually, he stopped tweeting altogether. That's crazy. So he like detransitioned like in public on his social media stuff. Um, this is what he looked like before. And then at some point he cut that ridiculous hair or took off his wig or, wig or whatever. Um, and then removed the name from his name. So now it's just S. Ashton Cirillo. And because what had happened is he was like the, the lead witness against Coach Red Pill. Because if you don't remember, Coach Red Pill li lived in Kharkiv, uh, which was at the, at, for a time, was at the front of the war. Um, I want to say that the Russian front line approached Kharkiv and Kharkiv was surrounded and then something happened and the, uh, Ukrainian defense force was able to push them back. And I think th during that time, coach red pill was extreme because it was in the early stages of the war, like the first week where, um, Russia had invaded from Belarus and had basically encircled not only Kharkiv, but Kiev. And it really looked like Putin was going to topple Ukraine's government in a matter of days. So Coach Red Pill was extremely cocky um, that the war would be over and Kharkiv that he was living in would become part of Russia. So during that time, he was extremely pro-Russian. He was doing videos about how the war would be over in no time flat. He got a lot of attention from doing this because there were a lot of people who were not supportive of Ukraine uh, at the early stages of the war and wanted like a westernized pro pro Putin line. So they, they got it from him. And then he was actually arrested twice. Uh, he was arrested and then released on house arrest. And then he was formally um, charged uh, with like with with uh, war disinformation or something, uh, and this person was apparently a big proponent of this push. And then after after this arrest, um, he had put out. I mean, it was the biggest slap in the face to have this gross tranny being the spokesperson to the West from Ukraine. Um, I remember being really disgusted by it every time I heard anything from him. But after doing a, a, a video talking about um, Coach Red Pill, you know, in his trial, there was a, a time a couple weeks later where a Republican congressperson said we need to stop, like, gender. It was something weird. Correct me, because I always get the story wrong. Correct me how, if, how I'm wrong. But it was like a, 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 a congressman in the United States or a senator in the United States said something about not funding transgender shit anymore and this guy using like his official ukrainian communications channel um called him like a fascist putin supporter or something uh for not supporting transgender kids and that caused like a huge freak out because it's like he was like th he not only said that but he also implied that bad things would happen to to fascist putin puppets like him and it was like crazy that this foreign spokesperson was threatening an american sitting senator like implying that he would be like nuremberg for for not supporting trans kids at the same time that 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 support was to ukraine was dwindling um 
Republican uh, uh, representatives are becoming more and more hesitant about sending more money to, to, to Ukraine. And then this fucking idiot tranny comes out and starts threatening them when they already don't like them. Um, you know, maybe I should find it. Hold up. Can I find this video? It, it was featured on the Kiwi Farms, but it's so hard to... Kiwi Farms, Ukraine threatens Sunder. Can I find this? When I type Kiwi Farms, I get all these bullshit articles uh, not related to the the site. Let's type in Senator Ashton Cirillo. No, I'm probably not going to be able to find this. That's unfortunate. I would like to. I would like to get the exact words now. Please don't. <laughs> okay, I can skip it. Yeah. Sorry, I'm, I'm looking at videos in the thread, but. Where are you, man? And those guys most definitely aren't. It, weird. He posted like this video on like a green screen so that you could, um, I guess you could Photoshop for you, man. And those guys most definitely aren't. So you could like put this on, on like graphic footage of Russians being like mutilated and shit. And you could make this, he looks, looks so much like Keffels too. The spud trannies all have the same phenotype. It's bizarre. Sorry, my um on Windows, I don't know what it is. I lose my my speaker. Like my audio thing is fucked up. Everything is fucked up, chat. I'm sorry. It's called a Jew. <laughs> I don't think Keffels is Jewish. Nice try though. Here's a before and after picture, at least. I'll, I'll give you this. So it's so bizarre. He's such a normal looking guy. But you know what he's done what he is? He's bald. I'm starting to notice a correlation between baldies and trannies. What do you think of this chat? How do you think? What do you think the bald tranny pipeline is? What causes this? What is this? What makes him this way? What is the fascination? <laughs> it's easier to put on wigs, I guess. My bald? Fuck no. Dude, I was born with a full head of hair and I still have a full head of hair. I, um, my hair grows wild and crazy and fast. I'm blessed with hair. I'm Italian. I'm Italian stallion, chat. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.